187, my addiction's why I'm heavily influenced. Invest. Today's Durag Day, you know Hey, you heard me. Look at my bitch, man. That bitch right there. Look at my bitch. 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 This is the last vlog I'm doing about you, donkey. Look at these seats, they black. If you scroll to the left, you're obviously gonna see that the seats pop smokers in is blue. Uh, <laughs> Side of niggas cat. Side of niggas cat. You know what I'm saying? I ain't have time to color the seats, donkey. Damn dinosaur. Look, how pretty is my bitch, man? Why are you talking about Bugatti, man? This is one, bro. We got one car. Don't even try to stun on me. I don't want to come doing good, baby. I'm trying to bring the New Year's, man. Fresh out of ICU. By the way, it's a million dollars. And I'm in Vegas, man. You know, I'm a bomb sitting there, man. Like those. Since you're talking about Pop Smoke, let's drop some music on Pop Smoke tomorrow. What's good with your gang? What's good with your squad? It's your boy Scoop, and we're back at you on School Squad TV, man. And we about to hop back into this 50 and French Montana wave beef, whatever trolling shit you want to call this, man. I'm just saying, man, this man just posted some crazy ass shit talking about back to back for the finish Ferrari Club. Oh, damn, how dare you talk about my $2 million Bugatti, Mr. 5'9, when you stunting in other niggas' cars Basically, on him. national TV? Same. You tried the wrong one today. He tried to snap on 50 on that one, man. Also, by the way, and back then, he was stunting with fake for right that he rented, so I don't know the difference. You know what I'm saying? But all it boils down to is these two bickering going back and forth with each other. French saying, you can't basically hate on me because I bought a million dollar Bugatti when you was faking with Ferraris back then. You know what I'm saying? So he sent. Curtis Jackson has won a bunch of awards. He's had a bunch of hit songs, but one thing he apparently didn't have, at least not when he appeared on Cribs, was a bunch of Ferraris. In 2007, Fiddy showed off his car collection on Cribs, which included three of the Italian stallions. But on a forum called Ferrari Chat, one user recalled asking 50 Cent about his rides at a car show just a couple of weeks before his Cribs episode, and the rapper said he owned five cars, none of which were Ferraris. Other eagle-eyed readers pointed out that all three cars were marked with the initials SC. A notorious Ferrari collector who posted photos of the exact same cars as the ones that were supposed to be in 50 Cent's possession. French Montana also goes by saying, all right, last one, 59. Where you at so I can pick you up? This my last post about you, you dinosaur. I had to put this up before people say I spray painted my seats. LOL. This what happens when you try and bully somebody with the wrong information, you donkey. If you slide to the right, you're going to see on his page, you'll see this video with a Bugatti. He claiming it's mine with pop smoke in it. It don't got the same, same kind of interior, basically, is what he's saying. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to let you see for yourself, sucker. He try to go nuts. Your boy, French, he mad. He ain't he ain't letting this slide. Tell me y'all about it, man. I just don't understand because 50 is down in this man for buying a $1.5 million Bugatti. And back then, he was stunting with fake Ferrari that he rented, so I don't know the difference, you know what I'm saying? But all it boils down to is these two bickering, going back and forth with each other, French saying you can't basically hate on me because I bought a million-dollar Bugatti when you was faking with Ferraris back then, you know what I'm saying? So ain't no difference. Fuck up out of here, you know what I'm saying? Basically what he's saying, I'm living my life, I'm fresh out the hospital, I ain't worried about you, man. Shit, 50 just like, fuck you mean, boy, you a buster. You know what I'm saying? You a motherfucking pure cold buster. I'm going to fuck you a junkie. You did all that shit just to go gold. You know what I'm saying? Like, he going nuts on him, man. He going nuts on him, man. So, 
I just feel like it all boils down to that one song, man. All this is promoting that one song. I ain't even gonna sit here and fake it. Okay, okay. When okay. okay. it comes down to it, every time Dick's is gone, I'm heavily influenced. Invest my paper on blocks and gas, and now my brother's getting to it.